Hello everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, a Genie Vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, I will be reacting to Relative Race, Season 8, Episode 9. We are down to the last day of meeting relatives. Tomorrow will be the final day. We're down to Team Blue and Team Green. It's definitely going to be them. Team Black just got out. But we're also hoping that we're going to see all three teams meet the fathers today. Now, before we jump into the video, please be sure to give this a like. That really does help me out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. With all that fun stuff said, let's go ahead and watch the video. It's day nine of Relative Race. The last day our teams will race to meet new family. Teams Red and Black both have been eliminated from the competition. However, Team Black is using their golden ticket to meet their final relative today. Team Blue has made it this far without receiving a single strike while Team Green has only one strike. And so, for the first time in relative race history, Teams Green and Blue will automatically advance to day 10 and compete for $50,000. All right. So does that mean they still have to do a challenge today? We're gonna go out with a win, yeah. just like we've been doing all along. We wanna get at least one W before day 10. So today, we're gonna win. We got a text from Dan. Good morning, teams. Welcome to day nine of Relative Race. Team Blue will be traveling to Kosciuszko, Mississippi. Mississippi. And Team Green will be traveling to Surprise, Arizona. Today's first Surprise. punch prize is a box of gourmet steaks for you and each of the relatives you have met on this journey. Oh. Our time starts now. We gotta <laughs> go. Nice. Time starts now. Oh, love you. Love love you. Bye, bye. I like how they make it an actual like prize, not a benefit in the game. That way they're like, oh yeah, I have a reason to actually compete bye. for it. Okay. <laughs> Some steaks. Bye-bye, In Lake Havasu, Arizona, Team Black, Pam, and Christine are saying goodbye to their sisters, Samantha and Rachel. They may be out of the competition, but are still anxious to meet their final family member of the journey. Father! Oh, you guys got everything? Yeah, we yeah, got everything. I think so. Awesome. How are you guys feeling? Oh, I'm feeling good. Yeah, feeling excited. Good. Well, Gonna get to see our last family member with our golden ticket. Yeah. yeah. That's so exciting. It's strange to know that we're not competing with the other teams today. But we still have one more family member to meet. It's our biological father, Arnold. So we're still very hopeful that that's gonna happen. Got a text. Good morning, Team Black. While your race has ended, your journey to find family continues for one more day. Your relative lives at 927 Violet Rose Lane, Violet Rose. Las How Vegas, cute. Nevada. Yeah, Going to awesome. Vegas, baby. It doesn't matter if we get a strike today or not. Like, Yeah, but I don't want to get a strike today. So. Exactly. Like, we still don't want to get it. Strike free after nine days, Team Blue, JT, and Kaylee are still not letting up. They're departing Jackson, Mississippi and heading to Kosciuszko, Mississippi. They have an allotted time of one hour and 28 minutes. Kosciuszko. It's like it doesn't matter, but still in our heads, we're like, you have to go, you have to go, 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 go. And that's all we know. We did it, babe. We did it. Yeah, we Not did. only did we do it, we did it good. Yeah. I'm we did it good. I'm, I'm proud of us. Team Blue's getting a strike today. Then we're going to be tied, except for we got more wins. Having won first place six out of eight days so far on this race, Team Green, Steven, and Susan are not about to let Team Blue get away with an untarnished track record. They'll be racing from Bullhead City, Arizona to Surprise, Arizona. Their allotted time is three hours and nine minutes. Where are we? It's not good when the navigator says, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know which way to go in Kazi. has got to find a sign, like, because we're coming up in the middle of town. Well, that's fine. Sometimes it's right there in the middle of town. What does it say? Entering surprise. Entering surprise. So we made it to? Surprise! Easy. Easy. This is Kazi. There's not a lot of those signs around. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, where's the phone? I'm gonna get out of the ditch for this. Please don't fall into the ditch. Okay. It's a lot more lighthearted today. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. You get out first. Like when they're when they're having trouble with the driving around and stuff, they seem a lot more lighthearted today. Probably just because the stress of knowing it doesn't matter. They're gonna see 
you know, see it through the day's end. Don't fall. Ew. Hurry, hurry. Come on, come on. I can't believe we're in a ditch. I can. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dan, get us out of this ditch. Welcome to Kosciuszko, Mississippi. Welcome to Surprise. Your challenge is located at 201 Love Road. Let's go. Oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go. That's why we're the team to beat, because we will get down and dirty in a ditch. Since we're both going to day 10, what's really on the line are these stakes and our pride, and both are a big deal. We're winning this day. Yeah. Let's go, Team Green. Steve. Sorry. Oh, get over it. Day nine's challenge is get over it. Teams must work together to build a mobile platform to transport their huh. props from one table to the other. However, if a player or their prop touches the ground, they must start over. Once teams have set all items on the other table, this challenge is complete. Interesting. All right, come on, come on. What do I do? Hold on. Oh, I can't oh, read it. Sorry, I was ready to start. All right. Congratulations on yesterday's win. For your benefit, you may choose one item to place on the other table before you start. Good luck. Uh, bowling ball. So we chose the bowling ball because there was no holes and it was like the heaviest. It was awkward. Careful, don't fall over. The only thing that I'm nervous about is the cylinders rolling out from underneath us, but I feel as long as we keep weight on them, we'll be okay. Hey, don't put it around top of each other like that. Put it on the other cylinder we're already on. At the fire department, we have to walk on ladders laying down like we're walking a roof that has no roof. Fun. I don't see how this is going to... Nope. <sighs> Start over. Put the stuff down, baby. We got to think about this. We can't just go blindly. Well, I know. Hold just... Okay. Chill out. Here. Can you breathe? Yeah. So as Team Green wanted to piggyback over us last night to get first place, we're going to name our sloth Steve. Steve. It's a lot of balancing. <laughs> Our strategy at this point is just putting one foot in front of the other, working with it as we go, instead of trying to pre-plan too much. We have to build this thing as we go. Okay, you should let me go first. Okay, come on. I quickly realized that this is the snippiest we've been this entire trip. Maybe day nine and the heat is getting to us. Okay, I need you to calm down. You're Jeez. spazzing out a little. No, I'm not giving you this. You're, you're carrying everything. Yeah, well... Hold on, I'm trying to put some weight on this end with this thing. We're halfway there right now. We are so close, and we're keeping a good, steady pace. We're not going to rush it. We're just going to keep doing what we're doing and get across. Yeah, girl. We're carrying a large tube with a six-pound ball in it, a large slot, and a bowling ball. That's a lot to handle. Finally, we get our last board put in place, and all we got to do now is just get everything over without falling off and messing up. Or dropping anything. <laughs> I want to put this down. I'll be right back. <laughs> my life just blasts before my eyes. You have no idea. Okay. Oh. I gotta get on the center of it. Oh, I thought I was going down. All right, just come right here. Now hand me the cylinder. Hold on. Give me your hand. Be easy here, okay? All right, go. Because it's right on the edge. That's not safe. We could have readjusted that. Well, whatever. Just come on. Take that. Right, get over here. Come on, come on, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick. You back up. Sorry. Get that over here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Get this. Pick it up. Grab it. <laughs> they both ended the same Ooh. way. Man, <laughs> can we gripe at each other some more? But we did it. Oh, let's go. Anyone else people here and you go inside? Yeah. Like 13, 9, 50. Yeah, no, but we need to be at 15, 156. So we're, we're going backwards. I think we're going the wrong way. Yeah, we need to turn around. No, just turn right here. Turn right? Yes. Okay. Oh, come on. Nobody knows where this is. I'm not about to trip at the finish line. <laughs> but we've gone way too far back this way. I know it's not. We're going the wrong direction. Okay, now. I will turn around then. Okay, I don't know where you think we're going to go, though. We're getting enough and make a U turn. Uh, but the numbers are going up. I know, but it's west. It doesn't say north. You know what I mean? Okay. I just, I'm sorry, darling. No, no, no. I, I... You're fine. Calm down. It's okay. I'm not upset with you. It's okay. It's all right. I wish I was more we'll, confident. We'll just, it's okay, yeah. We'll just have to ask. 
Let's just hope Team Green struggles just as bad as we did on the relative. No, I didn't. You don't think so? No. We're going to be turning right. Right? Am I wrong? I'll calm down. I, I don't know, baby. That I don't even west. think we're going the right way. You don't? Well, just keep going, but I, I don't think we are, no. This is stressful. Nobody knows where this place is. We don't know where this place is. Sir, do you know where North Hollyhock Street is? Hollyhock? Yeah. Right there. Right? Yeah, it's right here. Green right wing. Yeah. Turn in there. I am. It's ten. One, two. Keep going. Just keep going. Three, four. Do you see the addresses? Help me. Oh, what's this address? This is Pruitt. This is Pruitt. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's right here. It's right here. Yeah. Fifteen, six, oh, five. Let's pull him right here. It said Pruitt on the mailbox. It said Pruitt on the mailbox. On the mailbox. Fathers! We pull up and I realize this is going to be the last relative I get to meet on this race. Whoever it is, I'm grateful. All right, not his father. What's up? Hey. Hello. Another so brother? It's my wife, Kaylee. Hi. Nice to meet y'all. I'm Christian. Nice to meet you. So, who are you related to? Well, JT, I'm related to you. How are we related? I'm your brother. Oh, another brother. Another brother. Oh, what's up, dude? What's up, bro? Oh. I just keep getting mad with Grizzly Bear Hug. It's awesome because it's warm. It feels so inviting. It's just, it's hard to describe that feeling. Just when someone takes their arm and just wraps you up tight, it's just. You know you're you're wanted, you know you're loved, and you feel it. So how old are you? I'm 18. Oh, I got a baby baby brother. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm? Oh, wow. <laughs> they can look they kind of alike. I'm excited to have a, another older brother. Yeah. He looks like yeah. JT Close with long home, hair and a yes, scraggly I beard. Live, uh, Brandon. <laughs> okay, yeah. Not far at all. That is so crazy, yeah. No, we, I've lived in Pearl and Brandon my whole life. Same. We're sitting in the car and I'm realizing that uh, I could be meeting my dad for the first time in my life. <laughs> it's Hi. his dad. Hi, I'm Billy Ray. Billy Ray, you're my dad. Yeah. I'm Steve. Yeah, I'm your father. Can I have a hug? You bet. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever find you. Tell you what, if we knew you was around, you could have grew up with a big family. You didn't know? Did not know. Hearing my dad say that he didn't know about me gave me such peace about this whole thing. I remember your mother. Charlie? Well, we called her Charlotte. OK. That's what I called her, because I really liked Charlotte. She was a likable person. Yeah. I got a lot of questions. I hope I can answer them. I never thought this was possible. I've been waiting 40 years for this. I can't believe this is happening. I'm glad you're not this tall. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been hard to hug you. <laughs> yeah. do you. Do you think you could have a kid? <laughs> I, I guess I would have picked you up. Oh, man. Yeah. You want to go over and have a seat? Yeah. We'll do some talking. I never thought I'd get to meet you or anybody on this side of the family. Uh, I'm glad you did. I am, too. It, uh, it means a lot to me. I lost... I lost my dad that raised me uh, in 2007. He was only 50, uh, 55. Oh. And, uh, but you almost got to know where you come from, you know? To not know where you come from kind of messes with you. Well, I'm going to take your word for that because I knew where I came from, you know? I wish I would have known that, she, that your mom was going to put you up for adoptions. And if I'd have knew about you, I'd have said no. 
bring him over here and that lady in the house would have raised you just like her own because she did Ronnie to know that he would have wanted me had he was given the chance that means he didn't give up on me you know that means he didn't give me away it means he just didn't know about me all right father is it is it gonna be him Close to the Arnold? Uh, I think, no, I think you're good. I think you're good. Do I have it? Yep. Open it? Not gonna. Oh. <laughs> Come in. That's gotta be. That's gotta be him. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Christine? No. Pamela? Christine? Yeah. Yeah. How are you girls doing? Good. I'm Arnold. Oh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Finally. Finally. My name's Arnold Miles. I am Christine and Pamela's biological father. Can we get a hug? <laughs> I'm sorry, but... It's okay. No. I miss you. I think I'm seeing a splitting image. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Right? Yes. Yeah. And you that look one. like Grandma. Violet. Violet. Oh, okay. Yeah. I saw in them me. I saw in them my grandmother. I saw in them my sister. I want you to uh, meet my wife. Yes, of course. Hi. Hi. Welcome to our home. You. Thank you. So this my must be the mom of uh, the other sisters. Hi, how are you met. doing? <laughs> Sport. I say we all play baseball. Dad actually coached one year, and we ended up winning that season. Heck yeah. I was the pitcher for the whole entire season through four no-hitter games. Nice. Hmm. I used to pitch, too. Okay. Yep. I'm sitting here with my fourth brother, and it's incredible. It's amazing. But in the back of my mind, I've always had that thought, well, I was going to meet my dad on this show, you know? And I'm hoping I get to meet him one day. Man, I'm honestly just so glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. Oh, is that his dad? I can't wait till we get together and have that family time. Because I want it to happen. And I know a lot of others that want it to happen. We haven't had much family history, but I feel like you being here would help something out. Maybe get family more connected together, have more family time. Let's see. He knows who it is. Um, okay. He knows. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> I can't describe it. This is awful. This is amazing. I don't know if I'm just alive for this. We should have been done 30 years ago. This is great. And this is a seriously emotional episode. I look like you, sir. <laughs> and JT say, that's my dad. It's one of the greatest feelings that there ever is. Hey, sweetie, we This is my wife, Kaylee. 
her to meet you. Her to get two grandchildren. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. I'm grateful for this day because not only was learning that I have a son, but I have another family. Hi. Hi. You must be. This is my wife, uh, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Debbie, please. Hi, Debbie. I'm Steve. This is my wife, Hi. Susan. Hi. Hi. Glad to meet you, finally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come here. Okay. How are you doing? Uh, I'm good. Doing good. This whole thing's been crazy. Yeah, it has. The first time I get to meet Debbie, my stepmom, she gives me this photo album. We made this for you. So she, I hope she did all the leg work. I hope you, I hope you <laughs> like it. All right, I'm sure I'll love it. It's a lot of stuff that you that that you miss, so it kind of gives you an idea. <laughs> I thought you might like that. I do. <laughs> uh, oh. This is all the brothers and sisters. So you'll know who Grandma, you're looking Grandpa. at. <laughs> I mean, his wow. brothers and sisters. And all their kids. That's so awesome. That is awesome. Me, I'm in there. Yeah. And it's just a whole photo album with everybody listed in the whole Pruitt family. That's pretty cool. I kind of wrote down who they were. Yeah. That is so um, awesome. That, this, this was a lot of work. Thank you. Me when I was a baby. Oh. And that's my mom. Okay. Now, see, uh, I I remember the face. Uh, yeah. That That's my mom when she was a, a teenager, I guess, is what I'm thinking, like 18, 17 or something. No, I'm showing my dad. Uh, pictures of my mom, Charlene. I'm watching him, you know, rack his brain, trying to remember her, you know. I mean, he's about to be 70. So it was a long time ago, I mean, I'm 40. And, you know, it's very apparent that they didn't have a relationship. So that, you know, kind of goes right in hand with the, he didn't, he didn't know about me. I wish we would have known about you, I really do. Yeah, uh, I do. I do, because we could have had so much fun. <laughs> First thing she would have did, if I'd have knew her and she knew for a fact I was your father, she would have called me and we'd have took it. Yeah, we, we could have took you in. Yeah. I mean, definitely. I mean, family's family. I don't care. I like, <laughs> I like kids. <laughs> <laughs> Life is crazy like that. Stuff like that happens. And, you know, sometimes people get dropped. But it's how you pick them back up and welcome them into the family that matters. I bet you got a lot of questions, don't you? <sighs> so you didn't know? No. Uh -uh. No, sir. Well, now we got a. Now we know. We got a lot to. <laughs> yeah. You, you thought you didn't have no siblings. You got a whole family. I see that. Around. I see that. Just sit down right in front of him and see him. It's like, I've known him for a long time. So I had, I had a good childhood. I had a great childhood. My adoptive parents were awesome. They, I mean, we live paycheck to paycheck, but who doesn't these days? But I was an only child, but so whatever I needed, I got it. And then my parents got sick. And mom, mom got sick and she passed away in, when I was 21. I'm and sorry then, to hear about that. She made the best of it. She lived a good life. She gave me a good life. And then my dad, five years after her, they both died on Thanksgiving. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Ever since my adopted parents passed away, I didn't have a father figure to open up to or talk to. And now I got a biological father and getting to open up to him is just it's an answered prayer. It's a miracle. I had a good childhood. I had, they raised me right. They did, they did the best That's they could great. for me. But I was raised in an orphanage. So when my mother got killed, that's when they put me in the orphanage. Seven years, fighting every day in school. 
I just lost my mom, you know, but... But that's... I got out and I was 17 years old and I hit the street just to run and never stop, you know. I tried to commit suicide. And when I woke up, my doctor was named Dr. Angel. So, uh, God brought me back for some reason. I put a gun right there and pulled the trigger. Can't nothing replace in 30 years, but we we'll, we'll give it a try. <laughs> yes, we can. <clears throat> and we will. Oh, yeah. I didn't think none of this was gonna be possible, ever. By the looks of it, you had a good upbringing. Yeah, the parents that adopted us, they fought really hard for us to stay together, so they, they really... they did try to split us up. Yeah, the, the, the system tried to split us up. I'm so glad they kept you together. That was one of my main concerns, you know, for them not to uh, put you apart. Yeah. So I'm really happy. Did you know that we ended up in the crisis home? No. For two years? No. I had no knowledge of it. Um, it, it was a messy deal. My goal was to come here and, like I said, work, make a career for myself, and be successful one day. I was working offshore, and that's when things happened with you. Social service came in, took you guys out, and we went back into it. We tried, but as you know, I did not have the right partner at that time, which is the most important thing with three girls. So it's on me, because what I saw, it was not going to work. We tried. He felt like he had exhausted all his possibilities, both legal, familial, because he didn't have family support. Um, once he was able to kind of explain it more to us, like, I understand that. I respect his decision, but at the same time, it hurts. I mean, it hurts to know that that's how it went down. It's always been in the back of my mind. So I'm committed. I always have been. But I couldn't do it for you girls. I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I just couldn't. <laughs> I've always, always taken care of my responsibility. Always. Never failed. Never, never, never. Except for both of you. I hope you forgive me um, for what I did. For me, I can't speak for Pam, but you know, I just want to let you know that you know I'm not angry with you, and I don't blame you for the decisions that you had to make. We were in a fabulous home you know we have amazing adoptive parents thank god who love us you know helped us become the, the people that we are today i'm not angry with you if you need that I, you. I do forgive you thank you you know but i'm not angry we have no right to be angry we don't we don't feel that way at all we just have a lot of questions i think that his words are sincere i don't i don't have to understand it to believe his sincerity because I can only grasp so much of where he was or why he had to make that decision. Do I think it worked out for the best? Sure. Do I still have a million questions? Absolutely. I mean, what you had to do was selfless and I know that wasn't easy. And you, because of you, we had a pretty good life. There's no more hoping. It's done. We are gonna go. They have met the sisters they have met me and the next step is to stay in touch and to get together every now and then and get to know each other better that is my goal my dream a little bit nervous because of the uh, navigation to the house house was rough but we did good at the challenge or will team green take first place once again even though we both know we're going to day 10 i really want those stakes and i want to give team blue their first strike and the stakes couldn't be higher. 
day nine, and it looks different from any other day. We just have two teams with us today, and I ask you both, Team Green and Team Blue, did it feel different knowing that no matter how you did today, you're moving on to day 10? Team Green. Yeah, there was definitely a lot less pressure today, Dan. Team Blue, you took this day really seriously. You got up early and did what? We got up early and started mapping out every direction out of Jackson this morning. We hit every major city, north, south, east, west, everything we could, just to make sure we knew where to go and how to get there. Who's getting the stakes? <laughs> it is now time to find out who finished in first and who finished in second, which would be a strike. I guess we should remind everybody that the first place prize today is gourmet steaks for you and each member of your family that you met on the journey. Who picked up first place and who earned the strike on day nine? I can tell you this, unbelievable. The difference, 60 seconds. <laughs> Seriously, again? 60 I seconds. I immediately think, oh, that's us. We lost it by one whole minute. One of you finished 10 minutes over your allotted time. The other finished 11 minutes over their allotted time. Team Blue, you have yet to finish in first place, and yet you have yet to receive a strike. Team Green, you kind of barreled through this. Kudos to you. And on this day, Congratulations to Team Blue. Oh, you finished in first place. So they got no Ten strikes the entire time. time. Has any other team ever done that? I, I don't know if that's ever happened before. Finally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> team Green, you finished 11 minutes over your allotted time. But you know what? I've got a feeling it's all okay. <laughs> it is. Well, teams, nine days ago when we started this race, we were in Nashville and you were pounding out juice. Tomorrow is day 10. One of you is going to pound out $50,000. <laughs> Where will that happen? In northern Arizona. That's right. You're headed to Prescott, or more specifically, about 45 minutes outside of Prescott, where a ranch awaits. What does day 10 have in store for you? I can only tell you this. Get some rest, because you'll need it. And we'll see you in Arizona tomorrow for day 10 of Relative Race. Good night. Later, Good night. Love y'all. Love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, we got we first. We got first today. We got first. Well, <laughs> darn, I didn't get a steak. <laughs> <laughs> No this day 10 with no strikes. No strikes. Oh, that irks me so bad. That's all right. I'll give him one on day 10. Yeah. <laughs> with all our first place wins, we'll let Team Blue take some stakes. Yeah, because we're taking the 50 grand. Team Blue's going down. <laughs> so we are the only team that's made it to day 10 with without, no without strikes. Strike. That just that just clicked to me that we have no strikes. <laughs> oh, that just clicked. I was just happy for the stakes. <laughs> Strike free all the way. The 50,000. Wow. That's ours. We're coming for you, Team Green. You better bring your A game. Well, what an episode. I mean, absolutely one of the most emotional episodes the entire season. I can't remember what episode it was, but it was like episode three or four, maybe it was five, where it was just like super emotional, but this one takes the cake. We were hoping all three teams got to meet their fathers today, and all three got to meet their fathers today. A lot of stories answered. For Team Blue, I was a little disappointed at first, like, oh, he gets another brother. I mean, it's great, but like... They knew the dad was out there. Why isn't the dad there? And then for him to show up, that was so cool. I still am a little bit curious about the whole team blue, you know, JT's dad. How did he, how did his dad know his mom? Because, you know, he had a nephew who was related on his dad's side, who was also related to his sister from his mom's side. The story with team black was really, really uh, emotional. I mean, that was, that was, that was pretty hard seeing, you know, their dad break down like that but 
you know, it was interesting also that, you know, every single one of the dads broke down at some point. So now it's down to his team green or team blue going to win the whole thing. It'll be down to day 10 tomorrow. Most day 10s are basically just like, an all challenge day where it's like four or five different challenges. Last year was kind of an interesting one in the way they did it, where it was like this kind of series of stuff. But in past seasons, they've done like races around a city and other, you know, so, so I, I think it'll be interesting to see, but you know, we know there's not going to be any new family we're going to be seeing tomorrow. One thing that was really cool last year was they did involve relatives in day 10. So I'm hoping that they do that again this this year and involve some of their relatives in the day 10 race to, you know, make it about relatives. Cause when day 10 is all challenges, it kind of takes all the genealogy and the family stuff out of it, which, you know, it is a race, but that's kind of the core of the show is the family stuff. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give this a like that really does help me out. If you'd like to get access to my content early or even get access to exclusive content such as deleted scenes and extended clips from these relative race reactions, be sure to become a patron of mine on Patreon and not only will you get all that fun extra access, but you'll also be helping and supporting my channel. If you'd like to subscribe, click right about there. It is completely free to do so. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. See you in my next video.